the lessons with Troy.com. Well, today's lesson we're going to learn the traditional tune, The Water is Wide. It's in the key of D, 4-4 um, four, four time, and I'm in GBD, GBD tuning. Now, the way that I want to show you this is this has got a really beautiful melody with a lot of great chords, a lot of nice minor chords in there. And in my arrangement that I just played, um, I really kind of accompany myself, you know, by playing a lot of embellishments over top of that melody. But what I want to do is I want to show you, before I show you the embellishments of each phrase, I want to show you the basic melody and then how I go about embellishing it. And that's what is included in the tab, is the, uh, the actual um, arrangement that I just played. So let's go ahead and get started with that first phrase, and I'll show you the basic melody, and then I'll show you how I went ahead and embellished it. Okay, so the most basic part of this melody is going to sound like this. That's the first part of the melody. Let me play it again. Okay, now how I embellish that is just by adding a root note that's over a D chord. And so I'm going to drone out this, this root note over top of that. So that's what I have written in the tab. Let me play that again for you. Okay, so what that is, I'm starting there on my third string, playing that, and I'll show you the right hand in just a second, but you play that on your second fret, third string, and then open first string, and then you do a pull off two to zero on your first string, and then you just slide that up two, up to four on your first string. So that's the basic melody, and what's in the tab is you add that lower D string as a drone, right, that fills it out a little bit more. And right there I just did something rhythmic to kind of fill in the measure. And that's a, so I play these two at the same time, my open fourth string and then second fret on my first string, sliding up to my fourth fret, and then I hit that fourth string twice, and then go back to my first string, fourth fret. And then back to fourth string, fourth string open, and then first string, fourth fret. It sounds like this. And that would be it embellished, and that's what, like I said, what I've written. Now, if you have your tab, go ahead and print it out and set it on a stand in front of you. And we are on measures one and two. And I'll go ahead and show you in this, this phrase, show you measures one, two, three, and measure four there. Okay, now we're moving to that G chord. So that's all over the G chord. And that's two on my first string. And I do a hammer on pull off. And that's all just uh, open first string. And then two on my, on my first string, pull it off to zero. Open second string. And then second fret on my third string. That's what it sounds like in rhythm. Now what you want to do, the trick to this, to not having any of this noise, is it's all with these two fingers here. My um, ring finger and my pinky. Right, and I'm also doing some muting with my right hand, and I can show you that in just a second. But you really, you know, want to avoid having any excess noise. And you avoid that by tilting your bar up, you know, to where you're just getting the tip of the bar and you're muting back here with your ring and your and your pinky finger. Okay, so measures one, two, and three sound like this together. Alright, so that's what we got so far. And then measure four is that's the first 
first B to measure five. We'll just end, end this phrase there for right now, because that makes sense. Okay, so that's let me go ahead and play it again. Measure four, and the first B to measure five. Okay, just do an open fourth string. Second fret of my third string. Then open fourth string, second fret of my third string. That's what that sounds like. And then I do a triple stop there. Open fourth, open third, open second. And that's a G chord going into my D chord. there when I play that D chord is my ring finger just slightly hits that, that second string to mute it out when I play the D chord because that B is not really in that D chord, the B string there. So, so when you go to that D chord you can use your ring finger to just slightly hit that and that'll mute it out. Okay so all those together Two, three, four, one. Okay, so there's that part. Let me show you the right hand. 